Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another vlog. Uh, today is, it's a Tuesday and I got up nice and early and I went to the gym and um, now I just need to have a shower, make some breakfast and get on with my day. I'm not doing literally anything, like I literally have nothing planned. Yeah, so at the gym I just went and did um, chest and tries. So I did, I'm like really bad. I don't know. I used to be so good at the gym and now I'm just like struggling. Inclined chest thingies, chest flies. No, they weren't flies. They were like just thingies. <laughs> I'm so bad. Why am I even telling you this? I did tricep dips and I did, um, pull downs, try pull downs. And I did flies on the bowly thing. And then I did some crunches and I did some push-ups and I also did just some, um, I don't know what they're called. Are they called like chest presses or something? I don't know. Um, but I'm going with my friend Sheridan and there's like this, like the one where you lay down and you push up the bar. I couldn't, I did it with no weight on and it was so heavy. Like it was really heavy. Like I swear the bar alone is like, probably like 15, 20 kilos or something like ridiculous. So anyway, and like my friend Sheridan like was spotting me like, because <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I'm dying. I don't know what I'm gonna have for breakfast. I've still got some gluten-free bread. I've switched over to like as much as I can, like gluten-free because that's what the uh, naturopath and the acupuncturist recommended. So like, Technically, I'm not like celiac or anything like that, but I have noticed that um, I bloat less when I have the gluten-free stuff. So like last night I made pasta and I had gluten-free pasta and it was fine. Like it was really good. And then this morning I, I don't wake up with a sore tummy. I put up uh, this morning my potting plant, uh, I was going to say picture, but um, video, like vlog thing. And um, I edited it yesterday. I'm like, oh, I really like how it turned out. It was really cute. Just like talking with you guys, chatting with you guys. And um, last night I asked on Instagram for some like, I don't know, curvy girl bathers or swimsuits because like, I don't know where to start. And we're going to Thailand in like two weeks. Like help me. And I wanted to get some like new nice bathers that I felt like confident and comfortable in. And now I'm just like back at square one because there's so many suggestions and I don't know where to look. I really wanted to try out uh, Fate, the labels, their staple swim, but they don't have anything in stock. Like I looked on there last night and unless I'm like really dumb, like I can't find it. <laughs> or they don't have it in stock. And so many people have recommended them and I'm like, oh. Like I just want like high-waisted bottoms and just like a really comfortable top, like just something really basic kind of thing. I don't need anything like fancy. And then like so many people suggested like cup sheet, uh, but I don't know if the if they'll get here on time. I just showed this on my Instagram stories, but I just got a PR package and like this actually like genuinely excites me because it's it's so wearable, it's so usable. I know the lighting's really bad with this camera and like the overhead lights like they're golden. But I got this package from DB Cosmetics and it's a collab with Sarah Rosa. So she was on Married at First Sight last year and like she's gorgeous. She's absolutely stunning. And she's done a collection of four um, moisturizing lipsticks, which are these ones here. These are my favorite formula for the designer brands like they're so comfortable they're long wearing um they're just beautiful and then we've got four long wear matte lip colors i'm not that big of a fan of matte lip colors like i'd prefer it like a more comfortable velvet lip so i don't know if i should use them i might open one and see if it's okay um and then there's this plumping lip gloss as well and then two lip liners but like i swatched these before on my instagram and like they're such wearable colors you guys like this looks orange on the camera but it's red this one here is called baby cakes but it's just like a really nice nude. She's got two nudes and they're both beautiful. Like I can just tell that they're gonna work with my skin tone. 
which makes me excited. And how gorgeous is like the rose gold signature on the packaging, like it's so pretty. So these ones are $11.99 and then the lipsticks are $11.99 each. And then lip liners, $9.99. And then this one is $10.99. But if you purchase three DB items, you get this free which is pretty cool. Best thing about DB, like, I mean, they're amazing products, but they are like cruelty free and vegan as well. I literally had so many questions saying, what kind of gluten-free bread is that that you had in my last vlog? So I get this one from Woolworths. Now this is the mixed seeds one. I think I had like the, uh, I think it was called rustic white or something like that last time. They're both really, really good. I just think that the seeds might benefit me better. I don't know. Who knows, whatever. It is a bit pricey, it's $7, um, but yeah, I like, you know, like it's not a piece of fresh white bread, but it's pretty good. like PR day or something because I just got another package at my door from BH Cosmetics. Ooh, this looks interesting. Ah. The colors look so much better in real life. The only thing that I have an issue with is that there's only one darker color. You can't even tell like this red is so beautiful and the orange and this Kind of teal color. Princess Coco on her throne. Better tuck you in, hey? Oh, you didn't look happy about that. Squishing his whisker. Hey guys, it is the next day and I am just ready to go to the nursery. I'm actually going because we are doing some work around Dean's dad's house because he's getting ready to sell it. And um, I said, yesterday that I'd pick up some plants and we'd go and plant them this afternoon. It has been really, 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 really crappy weather, but surprisingly the sun's trying to come out. So I thought that this would be a good time to go to the nursery. <laughs> I went around with some stuff last night, just like some little knickknacks and styling stuff. He lives by himself and um, there's two bed, well there's three bedrooms that he's got beds in, but like they're not lived in so he wanted them to make them look more lived in if you get what I mean. So we took around some stuff last night and I'm gonna bring around some more stuff today just to lend. Yeah just to make it feel like a little bit more homey. So I've got like a lamp and then just like some little knickknacks. I don't know these ones might be too girly. There is a girl's room so I might put them in there. Um, this basket and then does anyone remember this lamp? This rose gold lamp. I used to have it in my background of my videos when we were renting and I found this little C as well so I'll, do, I'll take those ones around and I think I'll take this around as well. This is just a fake fiddle leaf fig. I got him from Adair's. I probably need to dust him actually and the pot is from Target. I always get questions on this one whenever I have him in the background of like try on videos um but yeah he's just from Adair's I got him out a couple of years ago when we moved in and here's my calathea which I um I put in this corner here and I got a little pot stand to make him a little bit taller so I went to the gym this morning and then I came back home and I was just exhausted I just have not been sleeping well like I don't know what it is I've been having my chamomile tea and I just I can't sleep through the night it's so weird so then I was watching Bachelor in Paradise from last night I just like fell asleep <laughs> I was just like, I was so tired. And then last night we watched Game of Thrones. Yeah, that was really good. And then we watched like this little like behind the scenes, like behind the makings of it afterwards. And it was actually really interesting how they placed like the storyline and the characters and made them do what they did. But I'm gonna head off to the nursery, but I can like show you what I'm picking and then I'll drop the plants off at Dean's dad's house. Are you all right if I leave you here, girl? She's like, no come back so I can have warmth from you, mom. Okay, so I just got to Dean 
means dad's but I can't get in because there's a lock on the gate so I just have to wait and I'm hoping he finishes now so it won't take him too long to get here but I've been waiting for about 10 minutes so far <laughs> I'm really freaking thirsty as well it's like such a weird day because it's like the sun's coming through and it's warm but it's windy and cold but yeah I've got some plants you can probably like see them in the back like poking through there um so I got some roses I got some pansies and I got some camellias like tiny ones I got one hollyhock because they only had one we've got two hollyhocks and I bought them like little stock tubes and they've grown so much but they haven't flowered yet I thought like you know they're good they're a nice like shrub to have because they're just green and got big nice leaves and then like I got a few other things that I don't even know what they are but I was just like these will do <laughs> yeah it's always a fun trip to the nursery I got like quite a few things and it was only like $120. This lighting is just not ideal. I wish I had like somewhere to put the camera because I mean I could put it here. Put it on this book. That's good. Okay. Now I can answer some of your questions like while I wait and I do have hair. It's just like in the back there. Let's go and answer some of your questions from, from that time. Oh my God. Michelle is doing like exercises with a dog. <laughs> that is hilarious okay so i didn't take screenshots of them so i don't have them all um but i think i do have some screenshots of some of them i'm actually hopeless what are your thoughts on facetune in the industry um like i mean i'll be the first to admit that i used to facetune like quite a bit some of them were more noticeable than others before like I realized I guess I was just at a stage where I don't know my mind was literally like oh well you know I'm gonna lose weight and I'm gonna look like that so it doesn't matter like oh <laughs> but now I find myself the only thing that things that I personally do in Facetune is I whiten, I detail, and um, I smooth, and and I sometimes use tones on like if my tan looks uneven, like on my feet or something like that, like just something silly like that. Um, whereas I used to like take off like a little bit off my arm. I might like bring in my waist a little bit and like selfies, I used to just smooth the fuck out of them <laughs> and just like tones the highlight. And now I just detail stuff and yeah like really minimal and I feel like a lot of people are moving that way like are less inclined to use facetune these days because it's not a perfect world like we don't live in a perfect world where we look perfect all the time and like I don't know it's funny because it's just like you know so crazy like Instagram is an influencer's job so they want to look good they want to look professional but at the same time like if I see a photo that's like too face tuned I'm just like I scroll past like I'm just it's just too much you know what I mean whereas I use I know this camera has a filter and I use that smooth skin effect filter but I don't find that it changes any of my features and like I mean I jump on here with no makeup on you can see this pimple is coming through hard like you know, if it's really bad, I'll cover it up. But if you like go on to like my Instagram lately and you look at like my selfies, if you zoom in, you can see the texture on my face. Like I don't change that unless it's like a big mother like this. <laughs> I might like um, heal it or, you know, copy it from another spot or something. And the other thing is people are getting like really good at face tune. So sometimes you can't even tell that something's face tuned. I think it's okay if you're like finishing off a photo, like fixing up, touching up little things. Um, like, I mean, I'm okay with what I do. I guess some pet people might not be. Um, I do also use Lightroom to change the colors, make it more vibrant and stuff like that. I might put like a before and after of like what the photo looked like before editing it to it's finished so you can see like 
exactly what I do and it's really not that much of a difference. But you know, lighting plays a huge part in photos and posing and like there's so many elements to taking a photo and the fact that you might take a hundred and then choose the best looking one or the one where you look the skittiest, like it's, it's silly. But yeah, I don't know, there's my thoughts. Like I'm not gonna say I don't do it or I'm never gonna do it but it's just what it is now but I'm pretty sure you know like I'll I'm gonna put in a photo where I've heavily face tuned and I look at photos like that and I'm like crystal <sighs> that was just too much but it's also really fun like you can get carried away doing it because it's fun editing a photo like I actually enjoy it and I know a lot of other people do as well like you can just sit there chill out and just edit it and make it look really good so yeah. How do you manage an excessive makeup supply? Are you worried it will expire? I honestly don't think about expiry dates. Like, I'm so bad. Um, I'm pretty sure there would be so much of my makeup that would be expired. But what am I doing about it? Zero. Like, nothing. <laughs> I am really bad with storing my makeup like I have not cleaned out my beauty room in probably like six months like it's been bad and I've just got boxes upon boxes of new makeup and it's so overwhelming like you actually have no idea I don't deal with it very well with excessive amounts of makeup and I don't deal with it expiring um, or I don't manage any of it to answer the question <laughs> i really need to work out a system but it's so oh you know when something's just so overwhelming that you just can't deal with it you just rather close it all like my beauty room full of it and then an, our spare room with like a bed like is covered in makeup and in the wardrobe covered in makeup like one day i'm gonna have to clean it out and i'm scared for that day <laughs> okay this one's cute how you knew dean was the one and how you keep your marriage alive look uh, this is one like and I don't want to sound like I'm just like talking out of my ass or whatever but like when you know you know I know <laughs> I know that like Dean and I I know that we're soulmates like I'm like tearing up saying this but like I saw a psychic um, we had like a psychic fair the other weekend and I saw a psychic and I said, oh, you know, like I'm not worried about our relationship. And she's like, oh no, I know you're stuck with each other. Like you're not going anywhere. And I've been to another psychic and she said, I don't say this often, but you guys are soulmates. Dean hasn't been there at either of those. I've just shown like photos of them. And like, I know in my heart and that we're meant to be together. Like I know that. And it's, just whatever like I mean I can't speak for anyone else but I feel like some other people maybe in relationships it's a lot of work and they have to like work really hard at their marriage and their relationship you know they might fight a lot or <sighs> hate each other I don't know but Dean and I are literally like best friends and I know your partner should be your best friend but like legit through and through like best friend and we hardly ever fight if we fight we only have like little bickering things like it's nothing major at all <laughs> i think we've maybe had like three big fights in what have we been like nine ten years or something like that nine and a half years so for me like keeping the marriage alive is just like i don't really have any advice to give because we just work <laughs> Like, this is what I mean. I don't want to sound like I'm talking out of my own ass because, like, honestly, like, our relationship is so good. It's so easy. It's perfect. It's, like, we have the same goals. We think the same way. We talk. Like, we just, yeah. And regardless of anything, like, there's so much love for each other as well. How do you keep it alive? I guess some good things are spending time apart, having different um, groups of friends so that you don't spend all of your time together because you can spend too much time together as a couple having your own different activities going away wow it's getting really hot in here i'm like sweating i just yeah spending time apart and also like i know some people are opposed to it or can't do it or whatever but like going on separate trips like that can really be beneficial for your relationship. Dean went away on a camping trip and I know like I haven't been for a while but like I used to go to Sydney all the time with like um here comes the tractor. <laughs> oh,
<laughs> you know, with work and everything, doing that. And um, I think also spending quality time together. So I'm not talking about just like sitting on the couch watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> I'm talking about going out, doing something you both like together um, as like a, you know, a date day or date night or whatever. Like the other weekend, Dean and I drove like an hour and a half. So we went on a little drive and we went and looked at display homes somewhere else. Just doing something that you like and that's some, like for us, like going and looking at display homes is like really inspiring because, you know, you get to see different designs and you get to aspire to have something better. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that we're going to build again, but maybe in the future we could um but yeah like we all we have those same aspirations whether it be like going to play mini golf or something like barefoot bowls or game of pool or you know just something and like spending that quality time together i think is really important not just hanging out together at home or on the tv and we do things around the house together like we garden together um and that's really good because it's something that we've done together at the house that we can be proud of. It's so weird because I know every relationship is so different and I feel so blessed and lucky to have such a beautiful, easy relationship and a wonderful partner in Dean. Like, you know, I know that sounds so silly, but anyway, so like mushy. <laughs> oh yeah, how did I know Dean was the one? Um, as I said, like when you know, you know. It was so weird because I was obviously in Adelaide when we met and he was visiting on like a boys trip and we just met through friends of a friend kind of thing. I never thought that I would get in a relationship with someone interstate. It just kind of happened. Like we were just chatting on the phone, like messaging or whatever, text messaging or, or on Facebook or whatever. And it's just like, you know, he came back to visit and I just knew when he came back to visit, like that he was something special. And I think, so he came back to visit one time and then he came back and he actually surprised me for Valentine's Day. I was just at work and he just rocked up at work because I used to work at Dottie in Rundle Mall and he rocked up and I'm like, oh my God, what are you doing here? And he'd literally just booked to come down for like the night. And so like we went out that night and then I think he went home the next afternoon and I'm pretty sure it was that weekend or it might've been a next weekend or something that I told him that I loved him. And I said it first and I just knew, like I just wanted to be with him forever. Like, I know it's so sappy. <laughs> like, I don't know, at that stage, we hadn't really talked about like our future kind of thing, but I. He, he was going to move to Adelaide. Then we decided to move to the town that he lives in because property prices are a lot cheaper here in regional or rural Victoria than, than Adelaide. So yeah, that happened. And then I moved like six months later. Like that's relatively quick to move interstate for someone. Um, but it just felt right. Like I can't explain it. I can explain it because I know with other boys that like I dated or only had two other boyfriends. But like there was, with my first one, like I just fell hard and like it wasn't a very long relationship, but he just broke my heart. He broke me. And with the, then I was like quite cautious after that, even though I was still optimistic. It's, um, I think like until you find the right person, you don't let yourself fall completely, like just not care about where you land kind of thing. And with Dean, I just did that. Like. I knew that he was gonna, I knew he was gonna catch me. <laughs> okay, I need to stop talking about this. I have also been hiding something from you guys. I've been doing something that's taking up a lot of my time. It's called SimCity. Highly suggest to never download this game because it is so addictive. Like it is legit so addictive. Yeah, if any of you have played SimCity, raise your hand. Um, because yeah, you will know the addiction. Dean was playing it one day and I'm like, what's this, what's this game you're playing? Ha huh? huh? <laughs> he told me, so I downloaded it straight away and we like play together. We're in like this, um, team with other people and like, yeah, like, <laughs> oh. Oh. but yeah, thanks for your question guys. Next time I will definitely screenshot them all. That's like so red. Have I been like touching that? Oh my God, last night we were here um, doing some gardening and I have some massive mosquito bites on my legs. Like it's bad. They're so bloody itchy. 
and it's May. Like, why are there mosquitoes still around? I don't have one there. I don't know why I've been just itching that. And because I'm like so fair and pale, like it just makes it look worse. This is all of the stuff that we are taking. Oh, this is Dean's like little kneeling pad for his little bad, bad knees, mate. Um, he's gardening. He kneels on it. But anyway, we've got like bed heads and pictures, some fiddle leaf figs. That's what we're gonna take, and I'll show you the plants that we got as well. Okay, so here are the plants. Um, so I got a couple of roses. I think I got two of these ones, Bonica, and then I got two of these. So they just grow into a bush. What did it say? 70 centimeters high by 7 centimeters wide. And then I got these. I don't even know what they're called, like daisy looking things. Um, and then I got some pansies down here and some of these things. What are these called? Just with their purple little pretty flower. And then, um, oh yeah, I got this one as well. This like tall one has this really pretty. Um, pink leaf that's kind of like fallen over I mean flower that's what it's called and then I got these little camellias which are very tiny but they're only like six bucks and I figured that they'll grow into something nicer so we have like this little garden bed here at the front of the house and then this area here so I probably didn't buy enough plants but if we can just plant them and make it look like you know nice and neat kind of thing there's a few things that are already here so yeah does anyone remember this from that lookbook that I did where like <laughs> I totally like strutted down here it was so funny <laughs> like I think it was called like spring summer lookbook probably 2015 or something like that literally nighttime and you can't see but these are the roses in with some pansies I think they're pansies and then here we have the other garden bed. I know it's such crappy lighting. Um, and then all the plants. And we have some like pieces of like wood for feature because we're out in the country. But yeah, there's the little end thing. And you know, these will grow big, like the camellias will grow. They say that they grow like three meters, but they take a very long time. And then that's gonna be like a meter. Those ones like a meter up there like another camellia um the hollyhock will like be really big then there's another one um i can't even see it oh, right there and that'll grow to be like a meter or so so they're just like small now but they will grow to be a nice garden hopefully the rain comes and we can just wash them in how noisy are those magpies <laughs> Oh, there's a possum. It was just eating the cat food out the front. Look how cute it is. I think it can be pretty savage though. So I'll just get a little close up of it. Oh, look at that face. Oh, see you, buddy. Okay, so we're home from Dean's dad's. It's nearly 7.30, so Bachelor in Paradise is on soon. Uh, but I'm gonna end today's vlog here. I'm really sorry that it got so dark and you couldn't see the garden bed. Yeah, it just gets so dark so quickly like winter is. Coming. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I hope you're doing really well and I will see you next time. Bye!